Welcome to Malita's Delicacies. Friends, back again with another interesting recipe for you. And this time it is the sweet potato pudding. Now these days sweet potatoes are in season. So I decided to present to you one innovative recipe of mine of the sweet potato pudding. And friends, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, then please do subscribe now and do like and share it with your family and friends so that they enjoy watching my videos too. Here I have about one and a half kg of sweet potatoes which I have washed. I'm going to use a few of them to make this delicious melt in the mouth sweet potato pudding. So let's get started with it. Now here I need about five sweet potatoes, but I'll just pop in one more extra. To this add about a teaspoon of salt and enough of water so that the sweet potatoes get immersed in the water. Now boil them for about three whistles. Now till the sweet potatoes gets boiled, let's make the caramel for the pudding. Add 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar into a pan and let it melt on high flame. Spread the sugar all around and keep swirling it on high flame. Right now you can see that I have lifted my pan a little up from the flame so that it doesn't get burnt. Caramel is almost ready. I'll turn off the flame and keep swirling in is and quickly transfer it into my desired mold of the pudding. When you are handling caramel, please be very careful and don't keep children around. Quickly spread the caramel into the mold because it hardens very fast. Spread it evenly and let it cool. Here I have five eggs at room temperature. I'm going to crack them into a large bowl and whisk them for about 30 to 40 seconds, not more than that. If you don't have a hand blender, then use a whisk or if you can just add it to your mixer jar and blend it. To this I'm adding half cup of sugar of which I have about a tablespoon I have spared. I will add it later if it's required because sometimes sweet potatoes are also very sweet. Blend it for about 30 seconds. Now add 750 ml of milk at room temperature. This is not boiled milk and again mix it for about 30 seconds. My sweet potatoes are boiled and cooled. I'm going to peel them off and add them to a bowl. Make sure that you peel all the skin well and let them cool down completely and then mash them with the help of a fork as I'm doing it right now. Add the mashed sweet potato into the milk mixture and blend it for about a minute. It gets nicely incorporated into it add the remaining and do likewise and friends don't forget to watch my other puddings like the pumpkin pudding the the banana pudding and the mango pudding i'm giving the link in the description below they are as delicious as this one once everything is nicely incorporated and there's some bits of it still remains now to give a smooth texture to your pudding take another bowl take a strainer and pass this mixture to a strainer and strain it so that if any bits are left they will get strained and you will get a nice smooth texture and also sometimes there are strains in the sweet potatoes if they come into your mouth it doesn't taste very good so to ensure that your pudding is nice and melt in the mouth do this step it's totally optional but i always do it for a smooth texture of my sweet potato pudding i'm transferring it into my larger bowl back again add a pinch of salt to enhance the sweetness mix it do the taste test and at this point if it's required add the spared sugar and blend it well again 
amount of sugar to be used depends on each one's preference of sweetness add this to the mold in which we have put the caramel now here again i am passing it through a strainer so that i get a perfect smooth texture to my pudding as i told you straining this mixture is completely optional but if you do this you get a total melt in the mouth texture of the pudding i filled in one tin of mine which i had added the caramel the leftover i'm going to add to another tin but to this add freshly grated nutmeg i did not add the nutmeg earlier before straining because when you strain it it will get strained off that i have kept my water to boil to steam this pudding i'm going to just place a stand into the vessel and keep my tin on it before that cover the tin with a silver foil and place it in the water to steam for about 50 to 60 minutes after 60 minutes open the silver foil and do the skewer test if it is not ready then steam for another 10 minutes and check likewise Look at this delicious beauty. So tempting, dear friends. It's perfectly ready now and let it cool completely. Friends, you see how gorgeous this delicious pudding of mine look. It's already tempting me. It is completely cool down now. At this point, just loosen the sides of it with a sharp knife. place a plate over it and flip over in one go oh my god so tempting perfect beauty of the sweet potato pudding a must try recipe of mine look how beautiful and delicious it looks it's as sweet and as delicious as any other pudding This recipe needs a sure try. This pudding right now is at room temperature. I'll show you my other pudding which I have kept in the refrigerator. Friends, see how moist and soft and delicious this pudding is. I can't stop by having one bite it is so delicious and so melt in the mouth friends do try this recipe at your home with your family members and enjoy this delicious sweet potato pudding thank you for watching this video keep tuned to melita's delicacies for more ex exciting recipes that i upload every week Now here is the one which I have chilled in the fridge. You see what difference it makes once it is chilled. And you decide for yourself whether you want a chilled one or one at a room temperature. After it has been chilled overnight, sweet potato pudding and especially after chilling it becomes so soft delicious and perfectly sliceable as well try this recipe at your friends and don't forget to leave your feedback in my comment section thank you